Today we're diving into the world of GPUs, the unsung heroes of your gaming rig and creative workstations. So what is a GPU? The GPU, which stands for a graphics processing unit, is a specialized electronic circuit designed to rapidly manipulate and alter memory to accelerate the creation of images in a frame buffer intended for an output to a display. In simpler terms, it's the component that lets you see what's happening on your computer. GPUs are not a one-size-fits-all, with many CPUs even coming with built-in GPUs on modern processors. Modern GPUs have evolved to become powerhouses for all sorts of parallel processing tasks. Not just gaming, but to video editing, to scientific simulations and AI computation. How does a GPU actually work? At its core, a GPU operates on the principle of massive parallelization. It does this by following four common steps. It will first receive the data that it needs from the CPU of what it currently needs to work on. It will then process this data in which it breaks down the instructions into thousands or millions of similar smaller tasks. The GPU will then execute these, taking all these small numerous tasks and spreading it out across the potentially thousands of cores that the device has to work on them simultaneously. Finally, if applicable, the GPU will then display this information, sending it to a display such as a monitor ready to be rendered. This parallel processing is what sets a GPU apart from a CPU. While modern CPUs might have 4, 8, 16 cores or more, a GPU can have thousands of cores, all working together to crunch numbers and push pixels. While a CPU can do multiple really complicated things at once, a GPU can do thousands of them simultaneously. This is one of the main reasons why graphics cards are no longer just used for rendering content and instead have created their own ecosystem of different industries using them. Let's break down the key components that make up a typical GPU and have a look at their architecture. Processing cores are the main workhorses of the GPU, handling the bulk of the computational work. GPUs have their own dedicated memory, often called VRAM, which stands for Video RAM, which is optimised for quick access and high bandwidth to support the speed of the GPU. A typical GPU will also contain render output units. These handle the final stages of the rendering process, including anything such as anti-aliasing and other pixel operations. Modern GPUs also contain texture mapping units. These apply textures to 3D objects, crucial for realistic graphics in games and other 3D applications. There are many different uses for a graphic card. No longer are they just for gamers and video editors. They're now essential in various fields. The common fad being machine learning and AI, GPUs excel at the matrix operations required for training neural networks. It's worth noting that NVIDIA's CUDA technology has given them a significant edge in this field, making their GPUs particularly popular for AI applications. GPUs now also play a huge role in the scientific community, from weather forecasting to molecular dynamics. GPUs accelerate the complex calculations required for these. GPUs are also massive for the crypto mining industry, with many cryptocurrencies relying on the GPU for the mining process to mine new virtual currency. In conclusion, it is safe to say that GPUs have come a long way from being simple display adapters. They are now an integral part of everyday life, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in computing, from lifelike gaming experiences to groundbreaking scientific discoveries, as well as training the next generation of virtual intelligence. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech explainers. Drop a comment below with your favourite graphics card or any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.